Now let's consider the diagram in figure 2 on page 65. If you don't have your book handy, and I'll just redraw that diagram right here. This is a three-set diagram. And in general, three-set diagram will have eight disjoint regions. So we'll call this A, B, and C, and then label the regions R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, R6, R7, and R8. And the question asks us to name the union of the regions R6 and R7 using one set operation. Okay, so probably the easiest way to think about this is just to put your hand over or your finger over uh, set A and just focus on sets B and C and we see that R6 and R7 taken together represent the intersection of sets B and C. Okay, so R6 union R7 represents the intersection of B and C so we can write this. Now part B of this example asks us to give a set name for region R2. Okay, so R2 is that part of A which is not in B or in C. And so Probably the easiest way to specify that is with a set difference. A minus B union C. Okay, that part of A which is not in B and not in C. Okay, now let's get back to surveys. Uh, Venn diagrams are very useful in analyzing survey data. And that's what I want to show you in the next example. Okay, this example deals with a survey on uh, energy policies. The National Defense Resource Council polled 100 members of Congress to determine which energy policies they support and the partial results are as follows. 12 favor increased use of renewable energy. 20 like energy efficient appliances and renewable energy. 22 like energy efficient cars and renewable energy. And 14 would like to see all three of these policies pursued. And the question is, to use the information given to determine the total number of people who favor renewable energy. Okay, so in this problem we have uh, three different choices that the people surveyed can make. And so that means that we need three sets in our Venn diagram. So again, I'm going to need a, and by the way, when you draw your Venn diagrams, make them nice and big so you can see what you're doing. If you make them too small, then you're not going to be able to tell what's going on. 
Okay, and rather than calling them A, B, and C, I'm going to give them names that remind me of the, uh, the things that are being discussed here. Okay, so for appliances, I'm going to use A. For cars, I'm going to use C. And for renewable energy, I'm going to use R. Now, basic technique that I want to tell you about when analyzing using Venn diagrams is you should try to start in the middle of the diagram uh, and work outward. That will usually be the best way to analyze your results. Okay, so the middle is identified by this word here, all three, all three policies. 14. Okay, so that means that number 14 is going to go in here. Okay, now let's look at the next item up on the list. It says 22 like both energy efficient cars and renewable energy. Okay, so energy efficient cars and renewable energy, that would be the intersection of those two sets R and C, wouldn't it? Now there are already 14 that are in this region here and so that means this region here, this disjoint region must have uh, 22 minus 14 or 8 in there. Okay, let's back up to the previous item on the list which says 20 like both energy efficient appliances and renewable energy. Okay, so both the appliances and the renewable energy, that would represent the intersection of those two sets, A and R. Again, 14 are in this region here, and that means that 20 minus 14, or 6, must be in here. And then finally, we back up to the first bit of information, which says 12 favor increased use of renewable energy only. So the only means that we're not overlapped with any of the other two sets. It's just the R set here. Okay, this was just a, a partial data set that we were given. But it is sufficient to answer the question which was asked, namely, what is the total number of people who favor renewable energy? And in order to answer that question, all we need to do is add up those numbers in the disjoint regions in set R. We get 6 plus 14 plus 12 plus 8. And the answer is 40. That's the number in R.